in with another Target bakery review. So I got these two donuts. Look at these things. I mean, they look magnificent. Let's see how this donut is. There's a lot going on with this one. <laughs> I really like this icing though. Target's donuts are not the best in my opinion. I'd give this first one like a 6 8. The second one. This is going to be the same. <laughs> 6.8 <laughs> It's a weird Bavarian cream that's inside of these If it was better it would jack up the score Sadly it's not <laughs> My hair is already growing out All right, guys, so we're starting off this cheat day with a little Target bakery review, and we got the donuts over at Target. All right, guys, next thing that we have, I have a Ben & Jerry's caramel chocolate cheesecake. So get a close-up of that. Now, I've never had this flavor before, and I'm very excited. I think it's going to be a hit. We shall see. you got to pop the top off. It's about 1,130 calories in this bad boy. I usually like to let my Ben and Jerry sit out for a little bit, but I just got this out of the freezer. Vermont's finest, baby. It's like four when he gets the hammer out of the ground, but with the spoon frozen in this Ben and Jerry's. It's actually really nice. It's not overly sweet. Maybe I gotta just keep digging. It's not like, um, I do like the half baked, but that one's really sweet. Yeah, this definitely wasn't as rich or as sweet as like the Tonight Dough or Half Baked. Those are some of my favorites. This one was a really good Ben and Jerry's. Definitely let it sit out before you eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna go seven eight. I like it. It's not my favorite. It doesn't beat the tonight dough or half baked, but probably be in my top five. I like the fish food one. I like the cookies. What's the one? Cookies and milk or something. I'm starting to get more cheesecake flavor. Ooh, it's cold. <laughs> oh yes, it's ice cream. I always, <laughs> I always overreact to the coldness of ice cream, knowing that it's gonna be cold already. But this one, like I said, was super, super yummy. It's getting cold. <laughs> I'm curious, post your guys' favorite Ben & Jerry's flavor in the comments below. I want to try some new ones and I I just want to hear what you guys think is your favorite. Alright guys, we have a little bit of ice cream left. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, burr. This is just going to be eating whatever. It's going to be kind of more of a cheap meal. But we got some Panda Express, some KFC, KFC bowl fries. Um, and then I got some lasagna that I got from Tar Target. <laughs> just dropped it all over my Panda Express. And then I got some Doritos. I'm going to try the Doritos in the lasagna. 
who knows if it's going to be good. And then I got some donuts, some ice cream, and some crumble cookies. So this is a lot. I'm going to go into Pan Express, guys. Check out my bowl. I got some orange chicken, some chow mein, and then I got uh, Beijing beef. And then my last one I got for the meats was uh, honey sesame chicken. Let's go. I think this should be, yeah, this is the Beijing beef. I'm going to pour it all in there. Check out my bowl. Yeah. Mmm. Honey sesame chicken. So good. The Bayesian beef. Panda Express. Oh yeah, it can't go wrong with Panda Express, especially with this bowl, the Beijing beef, orange chicken, chow mein, and sesame chicken. What's your guys' go-to meats with your, and what would you pick as like chow mein rice? Now me and Savannah, our two go-tos like are either Panda Express or Taco Bell when we go get fast food. So this is at the top of my list. The Beijing beef is so good. Now if I was like, it wasn't a cheat day, I'd definitely go with the healthier sources, but I don't usually eat Panda Express unless it's like a, I'm just going out to enjoy it. I remember the first time I had orange chicken from Pan Express, people were like, it's the best. I was like, it's getting way too overhyped, and it's actually really good. <laughs> if I had to overall score this plate, or bigger plate, it'd be like an 8.8. .8. This is so good. That's how this Panda Express Bowl is. Or pipe. Gotta read my fortune for you. Is that bad luck if you eat the fortune cookie before you read the fortune? You are a connoisseur of food and drink. <laughs> what can I say? Alright guys, next up. <coughs> Alright guys, so I got some KFC fries. And I also got a KFC bowl. I love the KFC bowls. They had a spicy one that they just launched, but I didn't, I didn't play with that one. So I'm going to go with the fries first. I think they got some of the great. Oh, excuse me. I think they have some of the greatest fries in the game. So. I love their fries. <laughs> They remind me of Taco Bell fries. A little ketchup in there. Ketchup on these fries. I 
All right, guys. Now we got one of my favorite things from KFC. KFC bowl. Mm. The mix of mashed potatoes, corn, cheese. This is a very simple meal, but so delicious. If you guys haven't tried a KFC bowl, yeah, try one, it's so good. The fries get a 7.9 and the bowl gets an 8.2. All right guys, so next thing we got is this lasagna from Tarjay. But I'm gonna throw some burritos in there. I don't think this is such a weird mix, but I've never had it, so it's a weird mix I'm starting now. Alright, let's get this mixed up. Lasagna and Doritos. That is different. It's actually pretty good. Nice little crunch. <clears throat> kind of like it. I definitely recommend putting Doritos with your lasagna. The reason why is because everybody is so creative. I'm going to go 7.9. So, we got all our crumble cookies, we got a birthday cake, we got cinnamon toast crunch, we got peanut butter chocolate chip, I think that's it. Is it peanut butter chocolate? Chocolate peanut butter chip. And then we got the Neapolitan. I don't know where to start. I've had birthday cake before, so I think I'm gonna go into cinnamon toast crunch first to start, because I've, I've been really anticipating this one. So, cinnamon toast crunch, here we go. Honestly, there's nothing too different about this one. <laughs> Reminds me of a snickerdoodle. I think for the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I'm going to give it a 6.8. It's good, but there's nothing wowing me. It's not bad. <laughs> The chocolate peanut butter chip. That looks really good, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, it's just like Reese's. I like this one more. 
then I like the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'm going to go 8.1. I really like that one. Let's go into the Neapolitan. See how the Neapolitan tastes. I like how it's like two cookies and then frosted. I'd say this one's better than the Cinnamon Toast Crunch too. 7.3. Last but not least, I have the birthday cake. Woo! I've had this one before. <laughs> Seven point five. Overall, this week I was shocked by the cinnamon toast crunch. It wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be, but the chocolate peanut butter chip cook one, whatever chip, was really good. That's one I would recommend you get. So.